Okay, so anyway, people have asked me in the past, uh, I've worked with like Tesla coils or other things, you know, people thrown around this term cold electricity, and uh, some people claim to have discovered cold electricity, and uh, they'd ask me, well, is, is the Tesla coil or these other devices putting out cold electricity? And what is cold electricity? I, I told them I don't know because I, I didn't know what cold electricity was. But um, I've been doing uh, research on this uh, life energy or psychotronic energy, which, uh, as far as I can tell, is a new form of energy. I, I have a PhD in electrical engineering and an undergrad in uh, physics. I've studied physics pretty much my whole life in science, and uh, I understand very well what electromagnetism predicts. And uh, <clears throat> this is definitely a new form of energy. It is uh, something completely different. And I developed a, uh, a way to conduct this uh, energy without conducting electricity. Here's a uh, conductor of the uh, psychotronic energy. It conducts psychotronic energy very well, but it does not conduct electricity okay, very well. So here's our voltmeter. And if we touch the leads together, we have about 0.2 ohms. So the path, the psychotronic energy is going to the tip of this cable and it's entering about in the middle of it. As you can see, it is infinite resistance. No electricity can pass through there. <clears throat> but yet, the psychotronic energy passes through quite easily. Okay? But this one, it's basically a, a uh, special material that I've come up with that doesn't conduct electricity very well at all, so it absolutely cannot be electricity. But it conducts uh, psycho what I'm going to call psychotronic energy. Uh, other people have called it different things, organ energy, um, OD energy. Uh, there's been many researchers in the past uh, have to call it psychotronic energy, and so uh, since what I'm doing here is very similar to what he did, I'm calling it the same as what he called it in uh, honor of him. And so let's see how the energy is conducted. I uh, actually invented a... Uh, I, it's, I'm sure it's different than uh, what, what Pavlito was doing. It's a uh, artificial way of generating uh, very strong psychotronic fields, and I can conduct the the energy very much uh, like electricity is conducted through wires. I can conduct it through this uh, material and uh, cause it to do work on things. So let's take a look at that. Here's our test setup. And what it is is. Uh, little aluminum balance thing that here that I uh, have teetering on a razor blade okay so here's our setup it has the aluminum teetery thing there and uh, uh, conduction a conductor of psychotronic energy comes down here and uh, it terminates there right above the aluminum. Of course, aluminum is conducted to the, or attracted to the psychotronic energy. And so when we turn on our powerful psychotronic generator, it pulls the aluminum up. Okay. And then uh, I guess the energy persists for a while. And so we wait a second. It seems like sometimes it persists longer than others. Anyway, okay, there we go. So it dropped down. We'll turn the generator back on. Turn it off. Seems like it's persisting a long time. Okay, on off. Okay. And so there is a interesting way to conduct psychotronic energy without conducting the other fields associated with it. So this is a pure psychotronic field that produces a reasonably strong force even at the end of a long, long um, transmission line for psychotronic energy. So anyway, um, 
Well, I was referring to cold electricity. The psychotronic energy can be conducted through conductors. Very similar to electrical energy can be conducted through copper wire. And so maybe this is uh, what people are referring to when they say that they have discovered cold electricity. Okay. And so there is an uh, interesting way to conduct psychotronic energy without conducting the other fields associated with it. So this is a pure psychotronic field that produces a reasonably strong force even at the end of a long, long um, transmission line for psychotronic energy. Okay. Anyway, this is Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.